Hardy Bell, good to see you, sir. Good to see you, always a pleasure. Yes, sir. All right, what we got, what we got? We got my hotspot on, so I shouldn't be going through no roast connection. what you said that you want to accomplish and you say oh my goodness this is a coincidence so listen folks people use the term coincidence as a way of an accident as an accident but there are no coincidence now let me tell you what the word coincidence come from i hope you guys are listening to this pay attention to this folks pay attention to this the word coincidence comes from a mathematical term called coincide. You guys get that? I'm going to say that again. 
The word coincidence comes from a mathematical term called coincide. What does coincide actually mean? In the mathematical term, in the world of mathematics, the term coincide means two angles coming together perfectly. Okay, you guys hear me, right? I know my top is down, but can you guys hear me pretty well? The word coincide means in mathematics that two angles come together perfectly. That's coincide, right? So the word coincidence comes from the word, the mathematical term coincide. So coincide, so coincidentally, things happen for a reason and it happens on purpose. The universe manifests things according to our thoughts, feelings, and actions, what we all want to vibrate, what we vibrate from our from ourselves, right? Our thought is a, is a creation and it's a vibration, okay? So what we think about, we bring about. We bring these things into existence. You guys understanding what I'm saying? So catch me now, pay attention to this, this is real, real important. So there are no coincidences in, 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 a, in a sense that most people use the term coincidence. They always use the term as an accident, something happens. No. Coincidence is actually synchronicity you guys get that coincidence is actually synchronicity and again synchronicity comes from synchronized or synchronization that means everything is coming together perfectly now now we are now we're there we got that under wraps right let me tell you something um, this was Monday. Just this past Monday, I was about 10 miles away from my home. And as I was driving, my belt, you know, you, I don't know if you guys understand in car mechanics or not, but every car has a belt in the front. If you have a motor, I don't know what Tesla don't have it because they don't have motors, but if you have a motor, a vehicle with a motor in it, that motor has a belt in front of it, and that belt is spinning on pulleys, okay? You guys get that? The belt, my belt came apart and shredded to pieces. And I knew, I knew that it happened because it was hard to turn my steering wheel. It was hard to turn my steering wheel. My car temperature ran, was running hot. And the car was simply running on battery rather than running on alternator, okay? And remember, the alternator runs or, or charges the battery. So my car was running strictly on the battery. It was hard to turn because I had no power steering because the belt was gone, right? And also, the car was running hot because there was no belt to, to pull and turn those pulleys to keep all these things in synchronization, okay? Now... Let me tell you where synchronization really came into play. I had to get on my phone and look for the nearest uh, car shop that I know that I can fix it. It's only about a 20 minute fix, right? I have to buy the belt, they put the new belt on. As I was driving, I was going through stoplight to stoplight where the place that I was trying to get to would close at six o'clock. And folks, it was like 5.40. So I'm like, oh my goodness, where, what's going on? Am I gonna be able to make it home? If my, my car's running hot. I gotta keep stopping at these stoplights. And it was back to back traffic. It was bumper to bumper traffic. So I finally got to a place and I'm and I'm mad, right? I'm like, oh my goodness, man, I'm pissed. And I was starting to lose it, right? But what I've learned is that I must pay attention to what the universe is manifesting, what the universe is sending up, the message the universe is sending to me, right? So I said, okay, let me figure out how I'm gonna do this. So by the time I got to the first shop, the first shop was uh, Midas. Not Midas, yeah, Midas. I get to Midas, park my car, walk in, and, and the guy 
Mike tells me that he has no mechanic there to put the belt on my car because he's getting ready to leave. And I'm like, oh, come on, man. So he says, Goodyear is about two doors up the street. I said, okay, I can't drive my car. I'm going to have to walk. So he points me to Goodyear. I go up to Goodyear. Goodyear closed an hour later. So I'm thinking, okay, they should have mechanics there. So I get to Goodyear. And Goodyear said they don't have any mechanics to do it because they are, their mechanics are working on the last cars for the day. And I said, oh, man, you got to be kidding. I said, dude, I'm stranded. I mean, I can buy the belt. Uh, uh, Advanced Auto was directly across the street. I said, I can run over there, grab the belt, they can put the belt on. Now, he said, I'm sorry, we don't have anybody to, here to do it now. So, I'm saying, okay. Then he tells me to go to a shop, which is like just around the back of where Goodyear was. So, I go to this shop. I tell these guys, I said, listen, guys, I'm stuck, I'm stranded, but I can pay for what I need to get done. I said, I have a belt that came loose in my car. I have I have no power steering. I have no no uh, proper water. My car's running hot. And I can't get to my house if my car's running hot. I said, if you guys can please put my belt on, man. I don't care what it costs. Please put the belt on for me. So the mechanic was standing there. He said, what kind of car is it? I told him, two, uh, CLK 500 Mercedes. He said, okay, uh, I'll take you over. He said, we're about to close in like five minutes. And before I, could, before I was getting ready to panic again, he said, we're gonna close in five minutes, but hang tight. But once we get wrapped up here, I will take you in my vehicle Go across the street, buy the belt for your car, and I'll put the belt on for you for free. Now, folks, let me say something. The universe was manifesting me. It was keeping me from going too fast, for one, because of the traffic and the stoplights, to keep me from getting into an accident. And it was manifesting a timetable so that I can have meet this this mechanic who was going to put the belt on for me for free that is called synchronization folks and the reason why a lot of people have a lot of bad luck and they say oh man this is Murphy law because that's exactly what I said I said man if this ain't Murphy law I don't know what it is but if you really pay attention to what the universe is manifesting in front of you folks you would notice that the universe is actually sending you a message. What was the message here? What was the message in my situation? One, take your time. Take your time. And two, don't get too angry. Because the universe is providing you something that is going to work in your favor. You understand what I'm saying, folks? So, that's right. That's called a favor. This mechanic, I, I didn't know I was gonna come. He don't know me. I don't know this mechanic. But the universe put traffic in front of me, put a lot of stoplights in front of me. Because guess what? If I would have went to the first two shops, the first two shops would have would have charged me probably an arm and a leg to get that belt pulled on. Now here's what's really, really, really important, folks. As he, we bought the belt, he took me, the mechanic took me to my car, and we, I opened the hood, and he noticed that the belt was shredded because one of the pulleys were broken. So we had to go back to Advanced Auto to buy the pulley for the car. Now, if, if Midas or Goodyear, whichever one of those two that I went to, would have fixed it, not only would they have charged me for the for putting the belt on, they would have charged me extra money for the part. They would have charged me extra money for that pulley that was broken, right? <laughs> to put the new pulley on. I would have been paying a heck of a lot more money than just paying $60 for the belt and pulley all together. And he put it on for free. So you guys you just need to pay attention to what the universe is saying. You understand what I'm saying? Pay attention because 
the universe is always working in our favor. See, we, see, those of you who are the, you religious folk, you who follow, who reads and study the Bible, the Bible said, you know, this is for those who are religious. I'm, I don't follow religion, but I'm just sharing this to those who do follow religion. The Bible say, teaches you guys that man has been given dominion over all things, right? But unfortunately, most people allow all things to have dominion over them. All you have to do is sit back and understand that you are not in the universe. You are part of the universe. You and I are proof that the universe is conscious of itself. I hope that makes sense, ladies and gentlemen. So that's the word of the day. That's the word you guys need to look up, synchronicity. That means synchronization is taking place for a perfect moment. Yes, come on folks, you guys hear me. That means synchronicity means Synchronization is, is, is coming together for a perfect moment. So I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. I hope this makes sense to you. And I hope you're willing to put this in practice because the universe is always working in our favor. Don't allow me, don't, don't cause it to work against you. Just, just keep calm. And take a look at the message the universe is saying. This is why I say this all the time. Every problem has a purpose. And every purpose has a message. If you connect that message to your mission, the problem goes away. That's right, Dola Vera. Gotta have faith. And I tell folks, you rather have faith than to have hope. Because hope, hope is bondage. You see? Hope is bondage. That's just like you wishing for a result that you have no control over. That's 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 hope. See, don't do don't have hope. Hope is bondage. Have faith because faith requires work. Woo! So folks, I hope that makes sense to you. Look like a little bit of drizzle might start to take place. But the sun is still out, so I might, I don't think it's gonna do too much. I hope this is helpful, folks. So if this is helpful to you, if you understand what I've just went through, then just put in the comments, this is helpful. Just say this is helpful in the comments. So I hope you, I hope you help you guys today. And sorry I haven't been on board on, on live within a week. I guess about a week now. You know, I just been working around the clock trying to get things done. We got something big coming to D.C. with the Wealth Summit Washington, D.C. 2018. So that's in October the 27th. So make sure you guys get your tickets at WANGlobalLLC.com WANGlobalLLC.com Make sure you get your tickets there, folks, because we're coming! And we've just added we just added another speaker to our lineup. And this speaker is not playing. So you guys better be ready. All right. Thank you very much, Dolavira. Looking forward to seeing you soon. Maria Scott, you just came in late. Where you been? <laughs> but do me a favor, folks. Watch this video again if you came in a little late and share it. Please share the video because it's, if it doesn't help you, I'm sure you know someone this video can help. All right. 
With that being said, do me one large, huge favor, and that is to sing like no one can hear you. Dance like no one can see you. Love like you've never been hurt. And live like it's heaven on earth. I'm Jay Lee. I love you. And the world needs you. So stop that damn texting and driving. <laughs> Peace and blessings, folks. Have a great day.